Hello my 3D printer peeps. I'm sitting here with the Creality Ender 3 version 3 KE and we are going to install the Nebula Pads G sensor. We will then run the vibration compensation tests using this G sensor on the hot end and the bed. You can go about this one of two ways. With double sided tape such as 3M double sided tape or by printing a bracket and mounting it to the hot end. Those of you who choose to use this bracket to mount the G-Sensor to your hot end will still need a piece of double-sided tape for the test on the bed. We will print this part on our Ender 3 version 3 KEs using our own printer to print our own printed parts on a printer. Good times. Let's get started. We are using the Ender 3 version 3 KE vibration sensor extruder mount version 2 from printable user Rue Reese. Go ahead and give him a follow and a like and a save and all that good stuff. Download the free model and drag it onto the bed. This should be a very simple print. I like the orientation. There is good bed contact and there will be no need for supports. I'm going to go ahead and slow this down since it is such a small print. In Creality Print, you can change the print speed and all of the other speeds will proportionately change along with it. I'm going to get down to 175. It's such a small print. I want to make sure the printer is being careful. Plus, I'm not terribly concerned about speed for a print that's going to take like two minutes. Slice. Okay, okay, 12 minutes, whatever. I'm going to go ahead and send this to Creality Cloud and print from there. Here I am in Creality Cloud. I'm going to hit print. Creality Cloud already knows this is an Ender 3 version 3 KE file. So it presents me with Payton, my version 3 KE printer. And I will click on that and choose print. Would I like to run my calibration before the print? Or no, not really. I'm going to say cancel and then confirm. You can see the Nebula camera right there having a peek at my print bed. So here it is, the Ender 3 version 3 KE. Bang this print out first try with absolutely no issue and it looks fantastic. In order to mount this on your KE's hot end, you will need to look behind the hot end and find two hidden secret screw holes. Here we are looking at the back side of the KE hot end. We will zoom in just above and to the left of the top of the CR touch and you will see those two holes. We will need two M3 by eight. If you don't have M3 by eight, you will need to get your hands on those. And we will slide the bracket underneath these two wires and screw it right here on those two holes. It looks like that. I used a fancy little screwdriver gifted to me by Creality. However, you can simply use an Allen key that came with your printer. This is what it looks like. Your kit may have come with two small self-tapping screws. You may use those. Or you may simply cut a small piece of double-sided tape and tape the sensor to this bracket. I recommend doing that. However, just to be fancy, I will use the screws. And there you go. We have mounted the sensor to the bracket. The next step is to connect the USB-C end of the G-Sensor and plug it into the underside of the Nebula pad. It looks like this. The USB-C is used for data. You will notice there's also a USB-A port. You may plug this in to a small block for power or to the USB-A port on the Nebula itself which will put out 5 volt required to run the sensor. With everything connected, make a reasonable effort to route the wires in such a way that it doesn't make contact with the printer. It is now time to turn the printer on and run our calibrations. 
To activate our G sensor test, click on the gear, click on the optimization of vibration vanes, and click on already installed. The button will switch to say start detecting. Go ahead and press start detecting. During these tests, do not touch the printer in any way. All right, you will see the printer has now moved on to stage four, which is the hotbed calibration. You will now need to move the hot end. You will see now why I wanted you to use double-sided tape. I will simply clip a small piece of double-sided tape and stick it on the bottom of this sensor. Please be careful when removing this tape. It will actually yank the cover off of this sensor. Don't panic if that happens. Just snap it back on. It's a real cheap piece of crap. Push it firmly on the center of the bed and run your test immediately. The longer it sits, the stronger double-sided tape will hold. We'd like to get this tape off quickly so that we may use the sensor again in the future. Again, we are routing the wire in such a way that it doesn't make contact with the printer, if at all possible. Go ahead and press already installed. Go ahead and press start detecting. With the test complete, you will be presented with the devious option of detect again. This is not a done or complete or finish button. Do not push it. Press the back arrow. Home. And you have completed your G sensor calibrations. Carefully remove the sensor from the bed. It may be harder than you think. A little twist will help. If possible, remove this tape and store your G sensor without it. And there it is. We have installed the G sensor to the KE and run our calibration tests. Whether or not you need this sensor and wish to run these calibrations is entirely up to you. There are people actually complaining on the internet my printer was already printing just fine, and it's no better with the sensor. What a waste of money. If you are actually complaining that your printer is already printing fine, there are internet forums and Facebook groups for people like you. However, many of us have been printing for many, many years with lesser technology printers without any such sensors and doing just fine. But... 3D printing technology has advanced in leaps and bounds just this past year alone, and if you'd like to get in on that and play with the new fancy toys, this G-Sensor and these calibration processes is one way you can go ahead and get in on that. You are on the 3D Rundown YouTube channel. I'm Great Adventure, your instructor on 3drundown.com, and installing the G-Sensor on the Creality Ender 3 version 3 KE <sighs> was today's adventure. Hey.